Uh, 300 local athletes will take to the track, the court, the pool this weekend to compete in the regional Special Olympics. Eyewitness News reporter Emily Velaz live in Bonneville County. Emily, uh, they still need volunteers? Yes, you can actually volunteer up until the day of the event on this Saturday. Now, I'm at Journeys in Bonneville County. It's a developmental therapy center, and they're actually doing a training tonight for those volunteers. They're already starting to trickle in to get ready for that. But let's meet some of those athletes that you could help. Vanessa Hicks has competed in the Special Olympics for several years. 15 meter, 100 meter, and softball throw. She'll compete this weekend just like Corbin Southam. We just got done with hockey and we're in the basketball now. In fact, his team, one of the Rigby Wranglers, has won some of these medals that Corbin wears every day. We have athletes who are in wheelchairs, that, that we have wheelchair races, um, so that's a lot of fun to watch. Um, we have athletes who have to, you know, have helpers. Um, even in aquatics, we have um, flotation races, we have assisted races. Before the athletes take their mark or dive in, our athletes actually march in just like in the Olympics. And we have a little opening ceremonies and then they start their competition. It doesn't cost athletes to play, so Special Olympics relies on volunteers. To be a timer, if you want to be a stager, if you want to work in awards, you, you can assign that to yourself once you're a registered volunteer. If you haven't registered as a volunteer, you can still come out the day of the event and, and sign up. For Vanessa, Special Olympics has been life changing. She's very fast. As everybody who knows Vanessa knows, she loves Zumba. Um, she Zumba's about every night. Zumba is a dance workout and has helped Vanessa lose 50 pounds and find her friends. They're, they're kind of my sisters. Her newfound confidence and athleticism are carrying her all the way to New Jersey to compete. One out of eight people that got selected from Idaho to go to nationals. And it's definitely an exciting time for the athletes. Still plenty of time to be part of it if you can for this weekend. And hey, if you're busy Saturday, they still need volunteers for day-to-day -day things. So we have all that information for you. Live in Bonneville County, I'm Emily Villa. Excellent. Emily, thank you. You can also register online to volunteer. Uh, we have that link on our website at KIDK.com.